So we are here now. Uh -huh. So uh, in Uganda, yes, we do have variety of food. Eh? Just from here, I know this, you know. Yeah, beans. this is beans. Yeah, mm. this is uh, pasted meat. Pasted meat. Yeah, this is sim sim. Mm. Oh, sim sim. Oh, they call it sim sim butter. I don't know. Sim sim butter. Okay, we call it sim sim paste. Okay. So they 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 cook, they roast the meat, yeah. or rather they to dry and then they yeah. paste it. This about is, these greens. That is uh, uh, the leaves for here we call it gobe obo. It's for uh, you know it. Yeah, in Spain we call it in lender. Very good. Very good. That's the one. That's the one. Mm. So right here, yes. we do have. Uh, we here mm. we call it kalo. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then this is matoke. Matoke. Yeah. yeah this is sweet potato. Yeah, yeah. This is posho. Posho. We call ugali. it ugali. You call it ugali. Okay. Now the re the reason why we call it posho. Mm. Posho is not even NNM at all. Yeah. During the construction of Uganda railway. Okay. They are. Uh, they used to give people yeah. food, eh? okay, and that was posho. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, this and, yeah, beans. and beans. Now, anytime people were going to get food, yeah, they used to say, I am going to receive my portion, portion. Yeah. my portion, a uh, portion, uh, my part, my yes, portion. Yes, so they just posho, posho, mm. I'm going to eat posho. Okay. I'm going to, to put their portion, yeah, I'm mm. going to receive my portion, yeah. hence the name portion. Posho. But that name is only here in Uganda. Yeah. If you go any other place and you yeah. say I want Porsche, they will be like, what's that. wrong with this guy? We call it Ugali. Ugali. In yeah. Tanzania. Yeah. Then and in Kenya, of course, they yeah. call it Ugali. And in English, mm. the truth is we don't even know the name. Of <laughs> if you ask anyone in Uganda what's the name of this thing, yeah. they will tell you in English it's called Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> Okay, so it and even like, on, on internet mm, is there, mm, but that's not the name. Okay, it's called Papu in South Africa, mm. Saza in Zimbabwe. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, it's so, a popular meal. Yeah, it's, mm. it's very popular. Mm. So I want you to to taste yes, it, I, and uh, you tell me. I, maybe you can begin with the matoke. Matoke. Yeah, you yeah. can taste matoke with all the. I've eaten matoke. Mm. They are nice. That is mm. good. Mlenda. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> good. I want to test this one. T try it. <laughs> so I eat like a girl. That, for it, we, the, 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 the rule is mm. you, you are not supposed You see fork is there. Yeah. But you, you don't use it fork. For it, you have to. Ah, it's cold. It's supposed to be hot. Mm. We are late anyway. Like you girl. Mm, we are late. <laughs> And uh, for it when you are mm, eating, yes. you have to dip a hole. You dip like this. <laughs> so that you take beans. Uh -huh. mm. How is it? Nice. It's like you get. Mm. And for <laughs> it you don't chew. Uh, I don't chew. Uh, it depends. <laughs> no, they, 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 it's, you just swallow. <laughs> mm. Nice. Is it good? <laughs> you, are, you are liking it. <laughs> it's like Ugali, there's no difference. It's, it's, yeah, it's, there's difference because mm. Ugali is a bit sweet. Yeah, Ugali is a bit sweet. Mm. But this one has no taste. Okay. That's why you don't shoot. If you shoot, you will feel the, the taste less. And this, paste, this paste is wonderful. This paste. Mm. Good. You have you have liked it? Yes. <laughs> Natural oil. And that's why they lived you long. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe. Yeah. So <clears throat> in as you can see there is no mm. there's no fat here. Okay. Mm. Personal I don't like eating fat Yeah, food. sure. Mm. For me I don't mm. eat it anyhow. Okay. I eat either at home mm. or in restaurants like this. Like this one. Mm. Okay. So for the average uh, Ugandan uh, this meal how much does it cost for someone who is maybe expecting to come to Kampala? He can arrange <laughs> no, how he can spend it's not, money. It's not expensive. It's not expensive. Yeah, like mm. mine, like this. Mm. This is uh, five thousand. Five thousand. Mm. Okay. Which is uh, about a dollar and some small cents. Yeah. Now for yours, like this. Mm. 
This is seven thousand. Seven thousand. Yeah, because this is one thousand. This mm. is one thousand. This mm. and this is five. Five. Mm. Which is uh, less than two dollars. Less than two. Less also one dollars and yeah. some cents. Sure. It's not. It's not. In, in but in uh, in expensive restaurants mm. in town, yeah. this meal can cost you like thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Mm. But for us here, mm. <laughs> you know, when you know road, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> So, so us, yeah, we know where we get it very cheaply. Kwa dau tuko Kampala na of course najitahidi ku uh, kuangalia namna gani uh, watu wa Uganda wanagokula chakula chao na kwa asilimia kubwa matoke ndio chakula maarufu watu wengi wanakula lakini uh, kuna tofauti ya makabila na makabila uh, lakini hivi ndio vyakula ambavyo uh, abitofautiana sana vyakula vyetu kuna mlenda, maharage, ugali kuna huu ugali wa njano huu na pili maeneo ya wajaluo huko Tanzania wanao huo ugali maeneo ya mara huko kwa hiyo ni mambo ni yale yale tu mambo ni yale so you said that uh, these foods uh, differ according to specific tribes in Uganda yeah mm -hmm. so this particular food mm. here the one i'm eating is for the nilotics nilotics we have the majority of luo mm. then in the, we have the bateso yes. the karamojo mm. and the blue baras also there are many more at my not count them Mm. Meanwhile, the matoke mm. is mostly for Bantu people, Bantu people. like the Waganda, mm. the Basoka, the Banyanko, the Bachika. Mm. But these days, mm. eh, matoke is becoming more expensive. expensive. So everyone is heading to this direction. Oh, oh. Mm. Yes. Even our president said that for mm. him, he enjoys this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And for him, he's from the. Baganda. No, he's a uh, Minyankole. Ah, he's a Minyankole. So he's he naturally he's supposed to be eating matoke. But um, we are all surprised him saying that he enjoys. Uh, but Baganda is the largest group here in Uganda. I, I, I think, mm -hmm. yeah, they are the largest group. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the most popular. Most popular. Yeah. yeah. So, friends, we are in Kampala, Uganda, and uh, I'm trying some local foods here, and uh, I mean, the food is. Uh, amazing, I'm, I'm very happy, I'm very impressed, it's not different from other parts of East Africa. So we are the same people, the same culture, the same food. So let's continue to enjoy our <laughs> our meal. Uh, yeah. And this soup, man, this <laughs> seems, seems, <laughs> very seems, seems so <laughs> by the this way, was by the way, very, this very nice. Yeah, I really this, enjoyed this it. This is so nice. Mm. Uh, there is no one. <laughs> Both uh, mm. health-wise, yes. even taste yeah. is good. As you can see, mm. there is no. Or is it, first of all, meat was. Yes. Yeah. They call it grilling. Grill. Yeah, it was first grilled. Mm. Then after grilling it, they boil it. Yeah. That's the water. Okay. And then they put first. Yeah. No, no tomato, no what, no nothing. Okay. So they, it's just that. Maybe if you somebody is, uh, is coming to Kampala, you the next to come to eat here. You tell them the location. Oh, <laughs> they will fear this location. Ah, okay. <laughs> we are inside the barracks. Ah, we are inside the barracks. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. They will fear it. Okay. For your... So guys, um, as you see, we have eaten our food. I was able to show him the traditional foods of Uganda. I think maybe tomorrow, yeah. I, wish, I will take you to also try out the traditional yeah. Uganda food. Uganda food. Yeah, mm. like we can call it central, central food. food. Yeah, Apart food. from matoke. No, it's the matoke, matoke. which is the central food here. Yeah, okay. yeah this is uh, uh, this one is not from central. Yeah. 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 But maybe tomorrow you you can taste the food yeah. from the center. From the center, yeah. Mm. And you you mm. can also feel how they taste. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know Uganda is diverse. Yeah, and diverse. So many cultures. Yeah. And, uh, so each each culture mm. has their own mm. food. food. So yeah. the food that you you were introduced to when you are young, yeah. uh, most is what becomes your staple food. Sure. Yeah. So um, how did you find the food? Uh, I mean, I really enjoyed this meal. And uh, especially this one, uh, Karo. <laughs> Karo. <laughs> especially the Karo. I mean, the Karo was really nice, and uh, the soup, the mm. Simpson paste. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, and uh, this one, Mlenda, and the beans, of course. I mean, the food was nice, and uh, there's no much difference between 
uh, our food in Tanzania mm. and uh, here in Uganda because uh, I ate posho, which mm. we call posho, we call them, and we yeah. call it Uganda. Uganda yeah. So I really enjoy it, yeah, and of course, yeah. So, mean, so which one don't you people have there? Ah, uh, we don't know. I mean, in, we say maybe matoke, but we have, we have we maybe the way they, they, the way prepare. they, they prepare, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the way we prepare is it's different. different. Yeah. But we have this, uh, this we call them what ndizi in Swahili. Yeah. So we have this ndizi, and the way we prepare is different from different. the way they, okay. uh, they prepare the matoke. Right. And uh, this uh, is there, but in other in other tribes, uh, yeah. in other cultures, for example. Yeah. We have also the Luo in Tanzania, yeah. so in the Mara region. Mm. So this food is, is popular there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Then uh, do you also yeah, prepare this, in this like this? Yes, like this. The same exactly, food, the, the same, same way. Food. Yeah, this oh. is in blender. This one we, we call we, it in blender. You also put bicarbonate inside? Yeah, we put uh, everything. Other put uh, grana oh. to, you know, to make flavor. So and you we use grana? Yes, yeah, so sometimes we use oh. grana oh. uh, For us here, yeah, we yeah. use Odi. Odi mm. is uh, peanut butter. Uh -huh. Yeah, but now for this case, uh -huh. we, they, they mixed both peanut uh -huh. and they sim sim. Uh -huh. Yeah, then they ground it. But mm. the difference between ground nut and peanut mm. is mm. that peanut they first roast. Okay. Then to get ready, like gin roasted ground nut okay. or roasted sim sim. Yeah. Then they ground it. Uh -huh. Then it turns into a paste. Okay. Whereas G nuts, yeah. they just grind it and it yeah. comes into mm. a, a flour, uh -huh. something like that. Sure. We call it peanut, I mean G nut mm. flour. Okay. Yeah, but this one is butter. Butter. Yeah. Yeah. I think they have it even we can show you. Uh -huh. You you have ever tasted it? You know it? Yeah, no, I have not. Maybe I have tasted it. <laughs> I'm going to show you. I'm going to yeah, show you. Anyway, I'm glad mm. you liked it. Yeah, I, I liked it. I yeah. didn't even know you were going to like it. Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it, and uh, I mean, I really enjoy it. The food is heavy, so you can yeah. just enjoy. You can, there's no need of having supper. <laughs> <laughs> if you, I mean, the food is heavy. Yeah, yeah, for this one, affordable. Mm. For this one, when yes. you eat it, mm. sometimes you might not eat supper. For sure. It's heavy. It's heavy. It takes time for mm. to, to be digested. To digest. <laughs> so, um, guys, his name is um, Malango Travels. Yeah, he's on YouTube. Yeah, he's from Tanzania. You can do well to check his YouTube channel. Yes, I will leave the link in the channel description. description. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, guys. Bye so, bye. friends, don't forget to subscribe to Mr. Jabwell YouTube channel. He's a very nice man, and uh, of course. He just volunteered to guide me throughout Kapala city and show me these places where you can get uh, uh, this traditional authentic Ugandan food. So if you're coming to Kampala, you can check him out. He will help you in one way or the other. So subscribe to his channel, support him so that he can grow his channel as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.